Hey, it's Chad HD, host of the Chad HD Show, which airs weekday mornings, 8.30 to 11 a.m. Central Time on News Talk 95.1 FM and 7.90 a.m. KFYO in Lubbock, Texas. You can listen online at KFYO.com. And, uh, of course, I want you to follow me on Twitter, Chad Hasty Radio. Okay, a couple of things that I want to get into uh, here on the podcast. Uh, one of them uh, dealing with uh, the CBO, the Congressional Budget Office, releasing uh, their score of the Republican plan to replace Obamacare. Uh, reading directly from the Hill.com, uh, and this was the great big headline uh, if you were on Twitter or Facebook or any of the social media or watching Fox News or watching CNN, uh, the Congressional Budget Office projected that the number of uninsured people would rise or grow by 14 million in 2018 under the Republican plan uh, that would replace Obamacare. Now, that number would rise, according to the CBO, to 24 million in a decade. Now, a couple of things to remember here about the CBO. One, uh, they're not always correct. Also, number two, this is just an analysis. It's an overall view, uh, but it doesn't take into account phases two and three of the, uh, of, of the GOP rollout of the uh, replacement for Obamacare. So um, this is phase one. They're scoring phase one. They're not scoring phase two or three yet. Uh, so we really don't know what all the numbers are going to look at. Um, the report finds that, 24, uh, that the 24 million people, 24 million people that would become uh, uninsured by 2026 is uh, due partly because of proposed changes in Medicaid. But let's not forget this as well, and I think this is, a, this is a, an, an important point. Um, the number that uh, they say would grow to 14 million people, um, it's not that 14 million people would lose their coverage necessarily, but it's that 14 million people, or at least a handful or however many, uh, within that 14 million may say they don't want health insurance. Uh, remember this in the Republican plan uh, that has been presented. You don't have to have health insurance. Uh, if you don't carry health insurance, you're not going to get dinged by the federal government. You're not going to have to pay extra in taxes. Government's not going to come after you. There is no uh, personal mandate uh, in this. So, of course, you're going to have some people, younger people in particular, who look at this and say, I don't want to buy health insurance. I don't need health insurance. I'm invincible. I don't need to pay for it. Uh, on the flip side, you're going to have some who say, you know what, yeah, I probably should buy health insurance, but I really don't feel like buying it, uh, so I'm going to forego it. That's going to be a large chunk of that 14 million people uh, that uh, go from this year to next year uh, not having health insurance. Uh, the CBO doesn't say that you're going to lose your health insurance because of this replacement plan. No. Uh, what it says is, is that, uh, and this is something that a lot of people I think are misreading, it says that 14 million people, it could hit that high. Uh, 14, million pe more, more, uh, 14 million more people could be uninsured. But a lot of this is because, yeah, some of it's because of Medicaid, but also uh, some of this is because of uh, personal decisions that we make. Listen, um, as a conservative, I don't believe that it's the federal government's job to make sure you have health insurance. That's your job. Uh, at some point, you have to take responsibility for yourself. Now, if you don't think you need health insurance, if you'd rather pay out of pocket, uh, if you think that's the best way to go because you can pay it off, uh, you make enough money to do so, God bless you. I'm not going to blame you for that. Um, but that's a personal responsibility deal, and you take that on for yourself. Um, no, I don't believe that health insurance is a right. Had a caller on the show uh, Monday morning who said, Chad, we're going to go back to, to millions of people being dead in the streets. Are you freaking kidding me? Uh, a loss of health insurance doesn't mean you can't get health care. You know, the, this, this whole discussion has been framed around health care, health care. It's health insurance. That's what Obamacare dealt with, and that is what uh, Trump care, Ryan care, Romney care, whatever you want to call it, uh, that's what it's dealing with, is actual health insurance. Uh, so we don't know exactly what all of this is going to look like. Uh, the CBO said that some people's out-of-pocket costs may go up, some people's premiums may go up, other people's may go down. Um, the, uh, the positive that they did find, the CBO said the legislation would decrease the federal deficit 
by $337 billion over the 2017-2016 uh, period. That's not a lot of money. I'm sure Republicans would like to see that uh, 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 cut even more. Uh, so it's going to be interesting to see uh, how House Republicans continue to sell this moving forward. Is this good enough for the White House? The White House has already come out and said that they uh, vehemently disagree with the CBO. So we'll see what happens as it's rolled out. Tune in to the Chad HD Show weekday mornings, 8.30 to 11 a.m. Central Time. News Talk, 95.1 FM, 790 AM, KFYO.